All right, guys, uh, this is again Williamtown Beach, and um, decided to get out today. I'll show you guys again the beauty of our island. The side that I was on, that's the side of the beach. This, uh, this is an area where um, you have the, the natives where they live on this side of the street. Um, it's very, let's see if we can show you here some of the area. Yeah, I'll just show you that area as we go along. But yeah, we, um, the, how, let's, let me put that seat belt on so you guys can see how um, our people uh, will live on, on this side here. Yeah, this is uh, Williamtown. It's an area, you know, when you hear Williams, most of the times you would, uh, this is where, um, you know, a lot of those persons live. I know I had a, a, a grand, a grand aunt who lived here. Her name was, um, we used to call her Aunt Clary and Clary Hill. You know, she lived here and uh, we would come out here on the weekend and we would, uh, We'd come out here in the weekend and spend time with her and, you know, just play on the beach and, um, you know, just kind of just walk through the community, get to know our family. And, um, yeah, but this is the area of, of Wigan Town. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, we're going to, you know, we're just trying new ways and new um, areas uh, just to, you know, to spark interest. Uh, what you want us to to share about, you know, is about God. We add value to you, uh, the things that we share. And again, we know that God has called us to live this incredible life. And and, and, and definitely our, our job is really to coach you along. And that's really what it's about. And so we want to just kind of just do some different things uh, so you guys can see uh, the beauty of our island also too. And so this is that side. Um, I want to show you guys this area here. So we're, we're out here on the beach. Over here at Williamtown, this area. So they have the beach, and then also you have this area um, where persons are having lunch. They come by and kind of just hang out. And so this this is what it's about right here on this end. So beautiful, beautiful country, uh, beautiful city, and uh, where people really love God, uh, a nation that loves God, and um, He is our sauce. Um, he's definitely our sauce, and, and, and this is what we do. So we want to share uh, the beauty of the island with you. This is um, is, is Williamtown, and again, there's so many other beaches here, but I'm I'm just in this area, Freeport. But uh, in time, I'll show you um, the areas where most of the native lives down in Eastern Island. Have some beautiful beaches down there, and then. Uh, we'll go down to the Eight Mile Rock area, West End. I have a brother of mine I want you guys to meet. I call him the, um, he's the, he's a chef, um, the celebrity chef. I call him uh, the celebrity chef, Patrick here uh, has a restaurant down in West End. I want you guys uh, definitely to meet him. Um, you know, so whenever we go down, down in that area, um, I believe we have planned maybe to go down this month uh, my wife, uh, Janice, her birthday is is this month, and so sometime in this month, if we were to go that way, if she if she may change her mind, but if she goes down that way, I'm going to do some recording as we uh, drive or drive down that area, and you'll get to meet my brother, uh, the celebrity chef, uh, Patrick Pierre. Uh, great guy, man. Great, great guy. He and his wife, they run a restaurant down there doing great things and um, I would love for you guys to meet him all right so that's the end of the video but William Town I love you guys and again I will try to make my my office as beautiful as possible okay so I'll definitely when I'll sit in and let you guys just see the view when we are led to do it that way so we are driving out of William Town um, driving out there and out of William Town and I'm on my way home again uh, wife just had a, a minor surgery and so I got to just get back uh, to, to take your business on that end but we are heading out of Williamtown and again I want you guys to like to share uh, to comment um, on our island this is another this is a, a place a castle here on the island <laughs> a guy by the name of uh, he just recently passed uh, Mr. Haywood Cooper um, the, a 
now let's see we can probably maybe go over this so you guys can see it um, this is the people all over the world when they come here to to uh, to the place it's actually the it's the Coopers he owns all of the Kentuckys and Burger Kings the Coopers estate and uh, the, that gate is locked but the castle is right right behind the wall uh, beautiful beautiful family uh, beautiful family and they own all the Kentuckys all the Burger Kings here on the island and other businesses uh, great great group of people um, here on the island so uh, I wanna just let you guys see yeah so we are we are on our way out man but it's a it's a beautiful country you know our our issue and I say our issue you know the problem we want to call it a problem or an issue but um, I would say let's say concern you know the concern is really for me is that every other year every two to three years it seems like you're having hurricanes are more frequently and i remember as a kid i remember my first hurricane was hurricane david i think by the time it came to grand bahama it was like a tropical so we were out on the beach and just enjoying that that wind um we did that and that was my first hurricane i think it was in 1970 79 early 80s i think it was hurricane david um, that's the first experience that i had with the hurricane and um, you know when we were younger like hurricanes came around every other not every other year came around every maybe six or seven years and um, now you know our concern is like hurricanes you just have to prepare for this thing like every every year so the people here on the island are very very resilient I think that's an understatement very resilient and um, it's like hey you know water the roof are gone you know people are dying and it's like hey, you have to just bounce back so quick and that's what it's about man it's really it's really a, it's it's a mental it's really a mental state a strong mental state that we have to be in you know that when hey, you can fix your house and there is a possibility that a storm can come and blow that house down again and that's that's reality of flooded again and so we are you know just people who are just ready for anything i i say to you know the people i said man we live in a hurricane zone so we have to be a people that has hurricane faith <laughs> you know and that's just how it is you got to be our resilient hey no matter what happened i got to bounce back you know and so but that's that's my concern i would call it a concern here living in this area in this northern bahamas is just the you know the hurricanes that you know that come through and um that's what we are challenged with but a great people great community and um you know passing over here this is the methodist church um and um this is we are over on the highway uh, just just driving back home but uh, it's it's a beautiful place uh it's a blessing uh, to live here in the Bahamas uh, like Dr. Marsman will say you know the Bahamas is a place where God lives and he visits everywhere else you know we know that's not true but it's just uh, just a, uh, a joke but um, you know he lives there too where you guys are but we are so blessed uh, to have you know consistent you know good weather um, you know it's a tourist destination and um, again um, you know apart from the hurricane you know it's like you got hurricane that comes like every six months so we have six months you you're good and another six months you got to be on the lookout you know so it's like half of the year you know that's that's really what it's about but we are we are grateful and uh we consider ourselves a blessed people man i hope you guys uh, enjoy it uh, where you guys are from uh, you know tell me about your your city what you like about your city uh what you don't like about it uh what you know what not but um you know we are you know, we love to travel to the u.s you know that's where we are just like about in an airplane about 35 minutes away when we when we um, right close to Miami so when we lift you know and you close your eye and the plane boom we're right there in Miami so we are very close to the US um, have a great relationship with the US of A and um, you guys are our people and so we, we continue to you know to develop our relationship and you know you guys are when we are you know 
in a situation where we need help. You know, last year with the with the hurricane that came through, um, uh, Hurricane Dorian. I mean, we had you know just plane loads and boat loads of persons, you know, from the U.S. who were lending their their, their services and helping us out as a as a community and as a, as a nation. And so we we also always grateful uh, for the U.S. of A. Always grateful for that. Um, you know, for that relationship that we have. We are very, we are next door neighbors right there to, to Cuba, um, U.S. are right there, and we have a great relationship. And so we uh, consider ourselves uh, to be blessed people, God-fearing people. Again, no nation is perfect, and, you know, so we have to continue to remind our people to stay humble. Um, God has been good to us um, over the years, and so we have to continue to, you know, to give Him the praise like the scripture said that we read in one of our sessions talking about how uh, you know we must they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth and so we always got to remind our people to stay in that posture of worship because that's 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 what it's about God is a spirit he, he is not flesh and so we have to continuously be in the posture be in spirit we walk in the spirit that we will not fulfill the lust of our flesh. And so we must praise God, worship God as a great country, as a great nation. I think in the Caribbean, we are we are right there. But it comes down to our resources, our, our dollar, our money, the value of the money right now is like one one, just right with the US, you know, with the US dollar. And so um, whenever you guys have the opportunity to to come to the Bahamas, you know, think of Freeport Grand Bahama. We want tourists, you guys to come in, experience the people. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's everywhere you go, you're gonna have some, uh, you know, not so good customer service. But I believe that our people are trained and knowing that this is the, this is our bread and butter. And so you will find one or two incidents, but most part, the most part is that you know we are hospitable people, and uh, we love to serve. We love serving people. This is our job. This is our life. We want you to to have fun, enjoy our country. And we wanna, we want you to come back. And so we definitely make the effort in giving our, making our people uh, feel welcome that they want to come back. And so we have uh, a great uh, relationship again with our tourists. When they go, I would say out of ten, if they they visit our, our island, I would say but seven or eight of them they would come back because of the experience that they have. And so uh, that's what we we focus on. We want to treat you well. Uh, not just so you can come back because it's the way we were supposed to treat you and because of that treatment you end up coming back and so um, this is an area um, this is in is in the Makaya area uh, where, where I live um, I'm heading heading home right now um, I just took the back way so you guys can just see a different part and um, but we are excited excited about the channel excited about uh, the ministry where we can come and just talk to you guys give you the word um, you know hope that you apply the word to your life um, again uh, you know we want to do a lot of um, we want to do a lot of relationship coaching um, you know just things of that what we want to talk about um, just issues that that real life issues that people experience I know a lot of times we can we can talk about things that is just on the surface just super just just the superficial things uh but we really want to be able to get into the depth of of relationships the the areas that we um you know that we struggle in of, of being um, you know having a great relationship uh, you know uh, a relationship that that is honest god relationship and nothing is perfect we all can improve but um you know myself and my wife this year we are uh, janice we this year we'll make in December, we will we will make um, 12 years, and um, we call it the 12 years is it's the foundational years. That's the year of that's 12. 12 means that's the foundation. That's what it's about. And so we um, we've been married for 12 years, coming up in December, and um, very excited about um, just being together every day. You know, God has been good to us. We have a great relationship, and um, we want to be able to enhance other relationships persons who are dating or courting giving you the wisdom of the word things that you can do strategies um you know petty issues you just got to get rid of it and 
allow God to um, to definitely work in our lives and so this is why I live right here in the Bahamas I'm, I'm right here so we are excited about this opening up my gate and heading in right upstairs there that's where I'm at and so but we love you guys we are to the end and uh, we will catch up with you guys later All right, God blessings have a great one